Hi and welcome back to PhotoWalk Pro Tutorials. My name is Jeff and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of some annoying halos. Um, a lot of times when, you, uh, when you're working with an image and you want to really boost up uh, say the fill light, you'll, uh, you'll look at your image and think it looks good, but when you zoom in you'll notice that you start to get these these halo lines and you can see them right down in this area right here um, it's kind of a double line outlining especially where you have a, a sky or something like that you'll get this double line in there and uh, there is an easy way to fix this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this image uh, over to Photoshop and I'll just go ahead and use uh, CS3 there's no real um, real trick to this uh, um, CS3 will do it. CS4 will definitely do it. So either one that's your that's your choice uh, can uh, can be used. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and zoom in on that problem area to start with. So let me go ahead and, and get some zoom in here so you can see this area that I'm talking about right here. And there you can see there's a pretty defined line there um, that comes from using the um, the fill light slider, um, especially if you have uh, fill light and then some um, uh, clarity worked in there, you're definitely going to get that line in there in some areas. Usually it's areas of high contrast and for some reason that just freaks the filter out. Um, but anyway, we're going to fix that. So uh, before we get started, I just have to let you know this isn't my uh, uh, little technique. This actually came from uh, the guru of Photoshop, Ben Wilmore. And uh, I just thought it was really cool and so I thought I would share it with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the um, the quick selection tool right here and you could use the magic wand if you wanted to I'm just going to use the quick selection tool and I'm just going to draw along the outside of this area right here where we're having the problem and I'm just going to keep drawing along down there and just kind of selecting little areas and adding to it now as you can see down here that line goes away so I, I only have to select around the areas where I really have that issue um, up here in the arm it carries up in here a little bit I could, I could take it up in there um, definitely up this way and I'm not going to do the whole thing um, let me just see how far up this goes yeah because it goes and follows all the way around the arm here so let me just do like up by the ooh, that's really ugly up there too isn't it I'm just going to follow around here let's see how it does there okay um, it does a pretty good job of selecting these areas now you can see sometimes it goes right up to the arm um, up here in the hand um, it didn't do so well. I might have to come back and address that. But anyway, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go up here and we're going to click on the Refine Edge button. And Refine Edge is now going to show me where my... Let me bring this over here. It's going to show me where my selection is according to this. Uh, you can choose different areas. You can choose a mask to show you. Uh, you can just use the standard, which shows you the dotted lines. Uh, you can do the black and white. Um, and there's the other one. I, I kind of like the white one right here because it gives me a good idea of exactly where that uh, is going. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to play with your sliders up here. You're going to change your radius a little bit. I like mine set about 6 or 5, somewhere in that range. Uh, contrast, you can leave at 27. Maybe if you want a little bit finer line, take it up a little bit higher. Uh, smoothness, um, if you take that down, it's going to give you a much uh, more jagged selection. So kind of keep your smoothness up around 20 or so, 25, something along those lines. Um, feathering is always a good idea. If you don't feather, you're going to get a very harsh selection. Uh, you want to kind of reach out and grab some areas. And you can see as I move this feathering up, it kind of moves that selection further and further in this area. Now 2.7 is a little much. I'm going to take it back down to about 2, 1.9. That looks good. Okay, and the other thing you're going to do, if I don't have any expansion on, what it does is you'll notice that that line kind of comes out here and it's not far enough into where that bad place was. I'm going to drag that and start moving it to the plus side because I want to expand it up into the area where we actually had that halo where the actual line of the arm right here um, is what we want and not that extra line that we got from using the fill slider. So anyway, I've got that set up to, let's take it up to 25. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to just click OK. All right, that's step one. Step two is to go over and grab your clone tool. And now all we're going to do is basically, I'm going to grab an area right here next to it. I'm going to just select there, Alt, set my target. And I'm just going to start 
painting along that line and you'll notice as I paint <clears throat> that second line disappears and that's basically the entire technique all you're gonna do is uh, clone from a solid area here usually that's where you have the problem is you have something white running up along here and you get those contrast lines and I'm just gonna paint in here and let me go ahead and grab this one right here and just kind of fill these in so you can see exactly what this is going to look like and make sure you use um, areas keep changing your clone area around a little bit just so you don't have a definite you know oh look you use the clone tool kind of thing um, especially if you've got patterns or something that's gonna be really tough but usually this happens when you have areas of really defined white or light areas running against a very dark area um, as you can see up here in the hand I did a pretty good job I would probably come back and try to fix some of this um, and just use the same technique and do it over again and just reselect the hand area. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and deselect now and let you look at the area right here. So there you go. That line is all cleaned up. There's nothing left there. And now we've got a nice looking photo. All right. That was pretty much a quick hit tutorial for this Friday. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you get a little use out of it. Uh, my name is Jeff and you can find me over at photowalkpro.com. Have a great weekend.